Good morning, y'all. I am headed to a Pilates class this morning. Here is a little workout fit. I had one of these little bolero cover-ups, but this is a We Wore What outfit, and I am obsessed with the cut of these leggings and their little ruche and ruche right here. I am running so late, so let's head out the door and go do a little hot Pilates class. Okay, made it to my workout class with a few minutes to spare, which is amazing. Oh, this is gonna be my first workout back, y'all. We worked out a couple times while we were in Michigan for the wedding, but I'm back for only a couple days, and my routine's not, I'm not getting back into routine. I'm very well aware of that. I have tomorrow, and then Thursday, we leave for Italy, so for our honeymoon. So I just wanna get a little bit of movement in, and we took, or at least I did, I think Jay had a couple workouts thrown in there, but I took off like the day before the wedding the day of the wedding and then the weekend and then yesterday I didn't work out I just walked a little bit so it's gonna be probably a little bit brutal of a workout but it's gonna feel so good to move my body and I'm kind of in that like post wedding depression to be so honest and I think the honeymoon's obviously gonna help so much but Jay and I both are kind of in that mood where it's like oh we want to relive it so badly like we would do anything to just go back and relive this weekend all over again because it was absolutely perfect. They always say something in your wedding is gonna go wrong. Something during your wedding weekend is gonna happen. Literally from start to finish, I had nothing but the perfect day for our wedding day. And Jay said the exact same. So feeling just kind of on that like low after being on such a high for so long, but also the best is yet to come. So we're back home and I think it's like that like little in between, like, okay, we're home, but like no routine, get back into traveling and get back into our honeymoon in two seconds. So today's just kind of grind time along with tomorrow and then we leave. Holy sweaty workout. That was so good though. First workout back felt amazing. Woo, and crazy enough, I like never expected Kenzie to be there and I don't know why I didn't, but she works at Salad Corps now and so I forget that sometimes she'll take a class here at camp and I was like, walking in and she's like hmm what are you doing here and i turn around i'm like are you freaking kidding me and we had just talked about solid core classes for the week and i didn't even think to say like i'm on a wait list for this morning but that was like a fun surprise that we got to be in the class together and now we're gonna go grab a little drink together before starting the day so headed to guess storm yep you guessed it i'm sure because that's our both of our go-to now just left storm uh kenzie and i ended up sitting in there and just having a debrief session over the wedding for probably about an hour we literally just chatted for so long so i don't even have my drink left anymore and it was so good just talking we were like we haven't seen each other in like 24 hours let's talk about it and talked about all the things that we like hadn't gone over about the wedding and just how great it was and I just love talking about it so much because it was perfect and it's fun hearing it from another person's perspective and like everything that they saw that I didn't get to see like for example all of the entrances of all of our um, wedding party and how I didn't get to see those yet and I can't wait to see all of the videos of everyone's little entrance with the person that they walked in with and just all of like the funny moments that I hadn't seen or like behind the scenes of stuff so so fun headed home now and i will see you guys when we get there back home now and it is time to start packing i am bringing a carry-on rolling carry-on a backpack and also a checked bag some of y'all are going to be like that's too much honestly for over two weeks y'all this is not much for me so i might worry about it later and i might struggle walking with my bags but I was going to bring two checked bags. I listened to y'all. I heard that that's ridiculous and that's gonna be so hard to get around. We're making do with this, okay? So let's get to packing and I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I'm bringing so that before I do like my little packing cube, throw everything in there, you guys can get a feel for everything I'm bringing. Starting off with some white linen shorts. I think that I can pair this with a couple different things but also over a bathing suit. My little Princess Polly two-piece set that has these floral details on it. Absolutely love this little set. This is a brown two-piece set. This is the top right here. And this is the bottom. This is definitely more of like a night out, a little bit more of like a hot, 
cute out, not really cute, more of like a hot outfit, honestly. This white maxi dress from Abercrombie. This just screams European summer. Kind of large and it kind of takes up a lot of space, but I definitely want to bring that. This knit dress, I wore this in Miami, if you remember this one. Super cute and lightweight. This dress, if you remember when I wore this one in, I believe it was in St. Lucia. Super gorgeous and beyond lightweight. This feels like you've almost got nothing on. This one is an All Saints dress. I'm gonna try and go through and link everything I can. Let's hope that I can do that. And so that you guys can find these outfits. This is a little yellow two-piece set. It is going to be pretty warm there, but linen seems to be a good move. So this is like a little vest pant set. This black maxi dress, this one is from Dish. And I also am bringing this top. I can wear this with a couple different pair of pants that I'm wearing or shorts that I'm wearing, but it's super comfy and lightweight. A little white dress from Abercrombie. Tank top from Dish. This little Thai linen top. I was thinking this over a bathing suit or honestly just with a pair of shorts. This maxi skirt. And I'm gonna wear that with this white top as well. Lots of whites going on. I am going on my honeymoon. Obviously gonna wear a lot of white. Linen pants. These ones are like almost capri. They're just like slightly cropped and these are from Aritzia. And my favorite button up. This is from A-E-X-A-E, A-X-E, X-A, and I got it from Revolve, but I have worn this. This one's a pricey one. I have worn this shirt easily 40 times, easily. So cost per wear, it's low. <laughs> I'm wondering if I'm bringing like enough loungewear vibes. I'm bringing lots of dresses. I figure that's just easy. I want to be cute, but am I bringing enough like comfy clothes? I'm not sure. This maxi gold wrap dress. This is one of the outfits that I'm most excited for. This is the skirt. And then it has a matching little bandeau top. Another really lightweight mini dress. A pair of shorts. These ones are from Mingo. Another white tank. This is the white dress that I wore to the brunch right after the wedding. And I absolutely loved it. So I'm bringing it with me for this as well. And these linen pants that I have worn a million times since I got them. Black halter top, black tube top, black tank, white tube top. This is a little linen set. Definitely will be comfortable in this to walk around. It's from Dish and it's a little skirt and vest set. Romper, a little white lightweight dress. This one I'm also super excited to wear. It's this butterfly dress this love shack fancy dress that has a little floral details i know i'm just rolling through this quickly but then i have this asymmetrical white tube top see some of these things if they're not dresses i can kind of pair them with other things and then this is a ribbed white maxi dress or maxi skirt this one is full of my pajamas skims pjs i'm probably only bringing like five pairs of pajamas for the entire time because I can obviously rewear them. These ones are adorable from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I showed you guys these when I got them in. And then little Skims boyfriend set. And I'm bringing four t-shirts. A couple of the t-shirts I can wear for pajamas and out and about over my bathing suits. For bathing suits, I am bringing this Princess Polly cover up. I think that's my only cover up because I can just throw other stuff on top of it. If I'm wearing a bathing suit, I'm wearing this little white bikini top and matching white bottoms. Hunza G bathing suit. Super comfortable material. And I finally get to wear all of my bikinis that are from the brand same that I got for the honeymoon so many months back. And that seems to be my favorite brand for bikinis. Striped one. A lot of them have this like floral detail on them added onto it and I love that look. This bikini is from L Space and it's one of the most flattering bikinis I've ever put on my body. I love this cut. I don't like a high-waisted bikini bottom. Then we have this chain one. This one's also from Same. Then I have a couple whole matching sets. So this is a little skirt that goes over and this is the bikini. This one's from Devin Windsor and so is this one, the whole matching set. Here's the top the bottoms, and a little matching skirt. I'm gonna do like one of those rapid 
pack with me type things on TikTok as well, but it's good to just show you guys rather than just showing you it all like thrown into my suitcase so that you guys can get a feel for what I'm bringing. For activewear, I'm struggling a little bit because I definitely want to go on walks. I want to get some like hikes in if we can. So I need to bring some more with me, but I also don't want to bring like too much activewear, I guess, because I know I'm not going to wear it for like walking around just around town. I need to wash a couple more pairs of biker shorts, but I'm sure I'm going to be wearing biker shorts a decent amount for walks and hikes and workouts and such. These Amazon shorts, Lululemon tank. I'll spare you the details. Mostly the ones that I wear all the time. My little license to train tank, one of these little onesies and this little Beyond Yoga set as well. So that's just about everything. Now we can fit it all into the suitcases. I want to leave extra space. I, even though this looks like a ton of stuff, it is a ton of stuff. I know that I still have room to bring some stuff home if I go to, I really want to go to CB Positano. I've heard such good things about it there. Gretchen, Anna, like a bunch of people have told me and I've seen on TikTok, I've just heard such good things and they have like all of the little, basically like kind of like Vera Bradley, I suppose, but the Vera Bradley of Italy. And I want to bring back like little makeup things and like little gifts for family. And I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to fit and bring back with me, but I wanna leave a little bit of room because I know people say that. So this is a lot of stuff I think I'm gonna wear all of it, I'm thinking. Maybe it's a little bit overboard, but let's get to packing. So I'm obviously going to do my rolling carry on. I think I'm also going to bring this Calpac backpack on my back and then have this underneath my seat. This is huge. This is like almost a duffel type. You could have it as a duffel or you can have it as a backpack and it holds so much stuff. I definitely need my laptop. I'm going to want my Kindle, probably some skincare for the plane, maybe like some comfy clothes and toothbrush. I don't know what else I'm going to need, but I'm, oh, and all my electronics that normally takes up so much room as well. I also ordered some more of these, but we have a bunch of air tags and even in the stuff that I have on my carry on, I want them in because in case you ever were to, gosh forbid, leave them somewhere or lose them, have them stolen, whatever it might be. I want an air tag in everything we're bringing. So I just bought another four pack of that. Added in a couple of the purses that I'm going to be bringing. I'm also fully packed with this little carry on. And I think that this is going to be my overnight red eye travel outfit because our flight overnight, we will be sleeping from Tampa to Frankfurt. And then these Hoka sneakers because I can also use these as my walking and workout shoes when we're there. I am going to go through and print off pretty much everything we need. We had some updates to some things, so I did this before, but I'm going to go through and print off all of our confirmations, flight information, train information, all of that so that we have it not only on our phones, but also print it out and just maybe like go through and highlight everything. So there's just a lot to know. And it's crazy because Jay and I both, since neither of us have been, we just don't even really know what to expect, honestly. Just got my lashes done. They're definitely a little bit on the thicker side just so that they can last me because we obviously leave on Thursday and then gone for two weeks. Probably going to be swimming and be rubbing my eyes, I'm sure, some. And I wanted them, I wanted to have some lash extensions for the trip. So a little bit crazy looking the first couple days, but they are going to be perfect for the trip.
Good morning and happy Wednesday. I feel like my days are all messed up, honestly. This morning we have a solid core class. I have been in my car for almost 30 minutes just sitting here. I got to my class early because I got around early. I woke up before my alarm and I'm like, mm, might as well just go and I can edit. I've been doing like a little TikTok vlog this morning. So I've just edited what I've done so far. Sometimes I'll do that and I, it kind of breaks up the editing. Cause normally if I do like a standard TikTok vlog, um, morning routine, night routine, anything like that, it normally takes me about like an hour to an hour and a half to edit that. Well, probably like an hour. And then if I split it up, it helps a lot. So if I do like 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, just makes it go by like a little bit quicker. And then I can post it a little bit more real time. So anyways, been sitting here and now it's about time to go take my workout class. And after that, I'm gonna do a little walk with Michaela and Kenzie. Kenzie was trying to be in this class with us as well, but she didn't get off the wait list. So it's just gonna be me and Mac in salad core this morning. Probably get a little drinky drink, go on a walk all together on Bayshore, hopefully, as long as the weather's nice. I haven't even looked at the weather. And then we'll have one last day before we go on our honeymoon. Pretty much have tomorrow too, like at least the first half of the day because our flight is at five something in the evening and it's a red eye, which I have never done like a full on overnight. That's the only sleep you're getting. So I'm very interested. Well, maybe on my way back from Hawaii it was like that, but I had a layover. So I had to like be up in the middle of the night. Like this is gonna be, I think nine hour flight all throughout the night. So I just wanna make sure I have everything prepped to have like a good night's sleep on the plane. Hopefully I can actually sleep. And I think I'm pretty much packed for today. So should be a pretty easy day. Oh my gosh, I need to go. All right, have the best day guys. Wow, I just got humbled. Also got home to a couple packages that I got in from Amazon. First of all, got a restock on these nippies. These actually last super long. I buy them a little bit more frequent than what I need to just because whenever I sweat and they get kind of gross, I'm like, I'd like a new set of them, but they do last so long. These are the best nipple covers. They also have the ones that can be like the lift ones that have like an extra little spot on it that you can like lift up. But I tend to just like the regular ones. I forgot my toothbrush when we were in Michigan. So I got a new one. It's just like this Phillips travel one got a four pack of some air tags and it's also our friend seth and gianna it's their daughter's second birthday i think tomorrow is but we missed their birthday party because we were gone for our wedding i think their birthday party was the day after our wedding and i got some little cute girly stuff i got this sticker book it says a magical world sticker book i got this princess simple modern cup and it has all of the Disney princesses on it. I think that this is so cute. And then this mess free coloring kit. She's been super into arts and crafts lately and last time we were there she was playing with a lot of stickers so I was like that will be perfect to get her. And this bag from Amazon that came with a little matching birthday card. Doing a little midday shower and hair wash situation because my hair has not been washed since Thursday and it's Wednesday now. I washed it the night before the wedding, actually the morning of the wedding. So I washed it on Friday morning and it desperately needs to be washed before. It actually doesn't look that bad or feel that bad, but I want some clean hair for the next couple days and we're gonna do a spray tan. I'm thinking tonight before we leave so I'm gonna wash my hair and then have the rest of the day to just do work stuff around the house. But I wanna get this over with. Hair wash is like a full-time job. Hair is wet, I let it kind of just dry a little bit while in my towel so that I didn't have to spend as much time on it. I have this brush that is so good with tangles. It just goes straight through my hair somehow. And my extensions, now that they're a little bit shorter and they're fresh extensions, they don't get nearly as knotty as what my hair used to. I'm loving this length of hair. I 
Love having it a little bit shorter and pretty much the exact same length as my real hair. Just blends so well. I'm gonna do some of this Bondi Boost or Bondi Boost heat protectant. And also some of this, it's blow dry spray. I'm actually doing my Dyson Air Straight today. I haven't used it much and I think I need to learn it a little bit better, but I'm gonna mess around with it right now. So what I like to do is I like to feel where my hair extensions are. I've got my little bottom row right here and I'm going to pin this up with a clip and kind of do it layer by layer. Hair is nice and dry and feels so silky smooth. I'm probably gonna do my heatless curls maybe tonight with it, but it's nice to just have all the tangles out, have my hair dry and not have to do both a straightener or both a hair dryer and a straightener and it all in one. And that did not take long at all. We just got back from visiting with our friends, but got some motion sickness patches in. So I'm really hoping that these help because I heard, especially in Positano, that there are lots of windy streets and we know I am a car sick kind of girl. Just did a spray tan. So I am going to be bronzed. It's looking low key green right now. So I'm a little bit worried because um, the solution has been in like this spray bottle. We haven't done a spray tan at home in like probably at least three weeks, maybe four weeks now. And I think that it's like gotten a little bit old in there, which is pretty gross. So I'm hoping that my actual spray tan doesn't end up looking a little bit funky, but we shall see about that. I'm going to finish kind of packing up my last few things and also packing my carry on and then we should be fully good to go. Also, I got a new fake engagement ring to bring on vacation. I'm not bringing my real engagement ring just because we're gonna be exploring all over the place. We're gonna be swimming, going on boat rides, and I really would prefer not to. I'm not gonna put it fully on, but here is my wedding band. So I'm gonna bring my regular wedding band. And then here is my Amazon fake engagement ring that looks almost identical to my engagement ring, but mine does not have a hidden halo and this one does, if you can see. So other than that, it's pretty much identical to it. And I hardly even notice a difference when it's just like, obviously the gold looks a little bit, but it's like, I think 60 bucks for this and for a peace of mind and to still have my same style, like in photos, you would never know that I'm not wearing my normal engagement ring. Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. Happy honeymoon day. It's finally the day and we leave later today, but we have the whole morning to get some stuff done, get some movement in, and I'm gonna start the day off with a little walk. I'm bringing my water bottle to force myself to drink some water before the day gets started. I am so bad about drinking water when I travel. So I've just been on like a horrible roll of not drinking water since honestly before we even left for Michigan. So I'm gonna do my best. Do we have anything in the fridge that we need to get rid of before? Probably. Because we literally should have not a thing left in there. <laughs> I 
I just changed because I'm gonna go to the gym here soon, but first I wanna get like a couple things situated before we leave. We don't even leave our house until like two-ish, but I keep thinking of different things. Like I can't find my little AirPods. Couldn't find my big AirPods as well, but I found them. So I've got those charging and I'm gonna clean these because these get so gross. Luckily I'm not wearing any makeup on the flight tonight, but whenever you wear any kind of makeup on here, these just get disgusting. I really should get those silicone covers. I used to have them and I don't know why, I don't know where they're at or I don't have them anymore, but here's the before and I just use these little shout wipes and it takes it out so well. Like that is a heck of a difference if I do say so myself. And then I'm going to clean the little case. We also have, I think we have four of these, like the little converter plugs for Europe because of the, what is it, like the frequency. You can't just like plug everything into the plugs there or else it will literally like fry a bunch of your stuff. I heard that like even with these, you still have to be careful um, with like Dyson air wrap and all that. So I'm not even bringing those. I'm just gonna bring my normal curling iron and hope that this does the trick. I need to look up like the amount that my curling iron and all of that can take. Headed in to get a little workout in. I'm just gonna do one of my workouts since I have not very, I've not been very consistent with my workouts in the last two weeks. I am just gonna do one of my workouts from my bridal program, not in any particular order. So I haven't even chosen which one I'm going to do yet. This one is from my phase two. I'm looking through my phase two of my bridal program. Even though I'm not a bride anymore, I'm forever a bride. Okay, I'm thinking I do the full body one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the full body workout. That sounds like the plan. Let's go do it. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so ending, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out. Okay, back home and I think I'm gonna end off this vlog and start a new one for the honeymoon. I think I'm gonna do, it just depends on how much I'm gonna try and be as in the moment as possible, but also capture a lot of memories. So I know I'm gonna be vlogging. We're there for over two weeks. So I will probably do two vlogs. I don't know. Let's not get ahead of myself, but fitting two weeks of stuff into one vlog sounds like a lot. But regardless, make sure that you guys follow along on Instagram, TikTok for all of like the more up-to-date, more current stuff for the honeymoon and then i will definitely have some travel vlogs going on afterwards but i'm really freaking excited i don't even really know what to expect but i know that it's gonna be amazing we're gonna watch lots of like italy videos and tips and tricks we've already kind of been doing that for the last couple months but do more of that on the way there just so we feel extra prepared i will see you guys in my next vlog which will be the honeymoon vlog i love y'all and i hope that you guys have enjoyed the wedding content the honeymoon prep all of that and there's more to come bye guys